up guys, Imran here, Monster Gadgets, and this is going to be an interesting video because I actually have no idea how well you can see this at night. I've never recorded myself driving at night. So today we're going to go ahead and take about an hour long of a drive using FSD only. So I'm going to go ahead and engage it and uh, see how well this does at night with some light rain. Let's go ahead and dive into it. All right guys, welcome back. So looks like I've got 52 minutes um, ahead of us here. And uh, for the sake of the video, obviously I'm gonna go ahead and hyperlapse this so that way you don't have to sit here for 52 minutes and actually watch this. And uh, as you know, I'll go ahead and take over. If I need to take over, I'll go ahead and stop the video so I can explain what happened. But right now we are going to my sister-in-law's house, her sister, uh, we're gonna spend the weekend there. So uh, they live about an hour away and we just got done from Target, and now we are on our way there. So I just got an alert saying FSD, full self-driving, may be degraded. Because it's raining, again, not sure how well it's gonna perform, but um, I'll let it roll, and I'll let you know as I take over. Real quick, so, um, as you can see, I did put my windshield wipers on auto, and I know everyone that has a Tesla absolutely hates this because while the car can drive by itself, for some reason, the windshield wipers can never be regulated correctly by Tesla. So I don't know which update they're gonna come out with where they actually fix this, but clearly it's way too fast. It doesn't match what's actually happening, and it kind of does whatever it wants to do. So I'm actually gonna turn that off and I'll manually tr activate the Vipers each time. Uh, that way it doesn't just keep going like crazy. So, yeah. I thought it was just me that I didn't know how to turn on the Vipers. Oh really? No, 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 it's a Tesla thing. It just... Oh, you just like, you're gonna lie. <laughs> nope, just Tesla. All right, so last time I did this on this ramp, it didn't do it that well. So with this newer update, let's see. Yeah, so far so good. It actually didn't slow down too much. I don't know why the max speed is still coming up is 35. Obviously we're entering the highway, so I'm putting this up myself. Now that we're on the highway, hopefully I won't have to use the windshield wipers because the ceramic coating should help beat all the water and get rid of it. So let's see. Coming on ramp, they waited for the last minute. You guys saw that. So one of the myths or one of the things that's going on online while I'm recording this is with a new update, it doesn't require you to put your hands on the steering wheel. Um, I don't know how this one guy did it. Maybe it was glitchy in his, I think it was a Model 3 if I'm not mistaken. 
but he did show that he didn't have his hands on the steering wheel for, I don't know, I think it was like 10 minutes or 20 minutes or something. And it didn't tell him to put his hands on the steering wheel. You guys just saw, while I even had my hands on here, it didn't pick it up properly and it asked me to validate that I'm still here. So I don't think with this update, that feature is, or SE shouldn't be active at all because it's probably a safety hazard for most. But it does want you to keep your hands on the wheel. That was a pretty hard break because you guys saw the car pull in and uh, in my opinion it overreacted. But I do have my settings set on uh, assertive for lane change and such um, and I do have my max speed at 85 so it is going to be a little bit more aggressive in uh, passing some of these cars. So I did take over there because you guys can see there was a truck there and uh, it wanted to shift next to it or change lanes next to it because of this car. So I did disengage there once. I'm gonna make it switch lanes because there's a car coming up behind me. I'm in the left lane and it really wasn't moving over. So second time I had to do something manually.
All right, so we've got this exit coming up that it should pick up on 0.7 miles away. It's making me a bit nervous because we're still in the left lane. So I don't know at what point it's going to come over. Oh, there it is. Try to get between this truck and this car. No. Two. Okay, that was way too dangerous. I had to step in and take over. It did get in the exit lane, but you guys saw the car was there, the police officer was there. And that was a bit of a, a sharp exit. Maybe a bit too assertive. Same thing because it's raining. I think the construction is throwing it off a little bit. Um, so it's saying it's disengaged. I didn't disengage it. Uh, I don't know why it's doing that, but I'll get through this construction and I will re-engage. Okay, that was dangerous. It slammed its brakes on because of the truck. Even though it was in its lane, there was a turn coming as you guys saw, so I don't know why it did that, but if there was a car behind me, that would have been really dangerous. Um, I think it dropped like 30 miles per hour, 35, 40 miles per hour straight. So that was really dangerous. Not good. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here because number one i'm gonna get there safely number two i don't want to put anybody else in danger right now because of the weather uh, and the fact that it's nighttime i will not continue this test and maybe do it during the day another time but you guys saw um it's struggling it you know the update it obviously is making progress overall with improvements they outline in the release notes but overall, it's not ready, it's not near ready to be by itself. And with incremental updates, I'm sure it will be, uh, but right now it's just it's not there. And so I'm a bit disappointed. Uh, 
that it happened this many times in this drive. Even though it's night, yes, it's raining, but I've kept the windshield pretty clean. Um, but it is what it is. So hopefully with future updates, these things will be fixed. But for now, I do want to get myself and my wife home safely. So I will catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye.